Hello, everyone. My name is Okwandia, and I'm a solutions engineer at Electronique. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use Excel automation within the Electronique platform. In this example, I'm going to be using a visual conditions builder to extract information from an Excel spreadsheet. So go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and enter my playground mode. This is going to go ahead and get me started. Some of the actions that I'm going to be using here will be consisted in spreadsheets as well as in general. In general, we're going to be looking in logic and human in the loop activities, as well as once we get down into the nitty gritty of our actual workflow, I'm going to show you how we're going to be populating things in different areas. So let's go ahead and get started. To start off, I'm going to start off with my table. What I'm going to do is go ahead and start reading my table. So this activity is going to read a table and save a value to the variable called imported underscore table. You are able to go in and change this name by going here and editing the name. So I'm going to go ahead and actually pick my table. Now that I have my table, I'm going to go ahead and set up my next step. For my next step, I'm going to use my for each row activity. What this activity does is it iterates through each row and performs a set of activities in which you have drag and dropped into this loop here. So I'm going to go ahead and set my parameters for my for each row activity, which is going to be that same sheet that we read earlier. As you can see down here, there is a variables perimeter that populated. This will allow you to use table headers or use column letters. If you hit show here, it'll show you what the column headers were and how they have been transferred into a variable. To see these variables, you can also go in and click variables and it will show you what the variables are. Once they are populated, this will change from null to the actual information that's presented underneath that column. So let's go ahead and start dragging some activities in here. I'm going to go in and jump into some of my general logic, and I'm going to pull out my if-then. For my if-then, this is going to create a statement. It's going to be a conditional statement, which you are able to set up using the visual condition builder here. You do have a basic mode or an advanced mode. I'm going to go ahead and use basic mode and open this condition builder here. I'm going to start by choosing my data component, which will be my variable since we already have our variables populated. And I'm going to put my number here because this is going to be what I want to pull. I want to pull a remaining policy balance that this patient may or may not have. Then go ahead and set up my factors for a less than or equal to. So for my actual components here, I'm going to choose the remaining policy balance. So if the remaining policy balance is less than or equal to, and here I'm going to change the number to 500. And I'm gonna hit save. So if the remaining policy balance is less than or equal to 500, then we're able to go in and set up those conditional statements. What I'm going to do now is verify that I have my variable correct. This means that it's in the same form as it appears in variables. This also does include capitalization. So here I can see this is a lowercase r. So I'm going to go in and change my conditional statement here and change that to a lowercase r going to go ahead and hit save. Now let's go ahead and set up my conditions. Jumping into some human in the loop activities, I'm going to use my user notification for my yes branch. So if there is a remaining policy balance less than or equal to 500, then I want to send a user notification. For my user notification, I want to calculate a value because I already have my variables. So what I want to be presented to me in this user notification is the patient's name, as well as the patient's address, and also what the remaining policy balance is.
and I want to have that window immediately close out after two seconds. If the remaining policy balance is not less than or equal to 500, then I just want to go ahead and keep iterating through the table until we're done. Let's go ahead and run this workflow now to see our results. As you can see, we have a notification that popped up with the patient's name and address, as well as the remaining policy balance at the end. You do have the ability to go in and have this appear in a spaced out form or any type of form that you like. I just kind of included everything into one. I thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And remember, happy automation with Electronique. Thank you.